All right, in this video, I want to talk about the brand new Radio DJ Backup Cleaner that I created. It's a piece of software that um, will clean the backup of Radio DJ from the database backup folder. Um, it does require um, that you do something in Radio DJ. Uh, many of you pr probably don't know, because a lot of people are finding out when I go into people's systems that they're, you're not keeping backups of your radio DJ uh, database. And this is very important because what if you have a crash? What if you have um, some type of virus or something? Well, the longer it, the longer you wait to do a backup, that means you lose all the work you've done since your last backup. And it's, I've had some issues here recently that was to the point where I've decided to back up my radio DJ uh, database every night. Okay. Every night. All right. And there's several ways you can do that. And I'm going to show you the first way. Um, but this right here tool, um, it's going to help keep it clean. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Because I back up every night. It's going to be a backup file for every day of the night, you know, or every day of the week or whatever. Okay. As you can see this, these backup files go all the way through March the 8th. Okay. If your backup files are big, then this is going to be a lot of files. You could actually run out of space on your hard drive if you don't maintain this. I was doing this manually, but, uh, you know, sometimes you forget. So I decided to create something that will keep up with this for me automatically. All right. And as you see, I selected everything and it comes up to about 669 megabytes, close to a gig, um, just a little over half a gig. It's not, that's still small. It's not much space. But if I ever had to do a restore, I, you know, I want to just keep it small because let's face it if you have a database backup that's over 10 10 days old that means you're going to lose 10 days worth of work whatever you added whatever you tweaked whatever you changed if you go back 10 days you lost all of that work this is what prompted me to do the backup every night all right so let's look at the different ways you can do that Radio DJ, of course, has a um, a thing in there. Now, we're inside of a Radio DJ folder, and it doesn't matter what version of Radio DJ you have. This is Radio DJ um, 2020. But in all of them, there is a setup folder. And when you go into that setup folder, you're going to see a database setup.exe. And so when you click that, you get this all familiar interface. And, um, of course, green means you're good to go. You're connected to the MySQL server. And by the way, I don't use MySQL and I'm going to, um, caution you to, to, if you're using MySQL, do not update it because they are making so many changes to MySQL that you're going to hate that you even used it. I use my real database. Okay. It's just a pre personal preference. It's simple. The same guy that created MySQL is the same guy that created my real database. All right. No history on that. All right. <laughs> All right. So when this comes up, you have this tab that says auto backup. You can check this. And of course you can close the tray, meaning it'll stay in the tray. And right here you could, you can point to the backup location. And if you click close the tray, um, when you exit out of it, it still runs in the tray so that it will do the automatic backup for you. And it's, this is set at 2200 hours. Um, that's 10 o'clock, I believe. Yeah. 10 o'clock. Uh, most people like to back up at night. It's not a lot of activity going on at night. And so I don't use this in particular because I don't want this running in the system tray. You know, I don't want this running in the system tray. I got enough things running in the background. I'm running four stations off of one uh, computer. So I, 
I don't know if I can help all four of these down in the system, Trey. So I don't do it this way. But that is one way you can do it. You enable it. You set the hour of the day you want it to happen. You select close to Trey. And, of course, you need to point to your backup location. Okay. I'm going to sit this over to the side for a minute because we're going to come back to that. Now I'm going to show you how I do it. Your computer is a very powerful machine and we're not using it. So we're not taking advantage of what we have before. So I'm going to go down here to the search bar for window uh, at the windows. And I'm going to type in task and I want to go to task scheduler. Okay. And then the task scheduler, which is on my other screen comes up. You want to select task schedule library. Now you can come in here and you can say, do not do the basic task. Just do create task. So we're going to click on create task and we're going to call this, um, you call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it radio DJ DB backup. That's what I'm gonna call it. Radio DJ DB backup. I'm going to check all four of these down here at the bottom and make sure you select your operating system. All right. Then the next thing you want to check is uh, the tab triggers. The trigger is when this thing is going to run. So I'm going to click on new. And we're going to um, leave it on, on the schedule because that's what we want. And we want it daily. Again, I do mine every day. And the reason why is I've had hard drives that have failed um, here recently. And I'm talking about brand new SSD drives. Um, so I want to back up every single day. And the reason why is I'm almost every day I'm adding something in. A new event, new music, new program, new show on all of my stations. So it's important that if I have to go and restore that I restore to as close as to the time I had an issue. So the only way to do that is to back up every night. So mine is set on every day and um, I'm going to set the hour. Okay. So this is, um, you know, maybe 11 PM every night. Okay. So 11 p.m. every night, that's the trigger. All right, so what are we triggering? That's when you go to the actions tab because this, this is what's going to trigger. So I'm going to click on new. When it comes up, it gives you some options, but just stay on the default. We want to start a program because that's what we want to do. So we're going to click browse to go to that same folder that Radio DJ is installed into. Go to the radio DJ folder, go to that setup folder and select that same database setup.exe file. All right. Then in the argument section, we want to type in the word backup. Now the next line is optional, but I like to do it. Um, basically what folder are we getting this from? We're getting it and I'm going to take it up here from the drive letter leaving out the quotation marks. I'm just going to copy from the drive letter to the end of the, the name of the folder. Okay. And then I'm going to click. Okay. So that's from the drive letter to the folder and make sure up at this, uh, program script, you have quotation, double quotes on the front and on the end. And I'm going to hit, okay, you're all done every night. I think I said it for 11 PM. This thing is going to go and um, back up the radio DJ database. Now, the reason why I like doing it this way, let's say I was doing it the other way. If you forget to turn that on, like if you reboot because of an update or something of that nature, and you forget to turn that tray on, you, you you're just out of luck. So I prefer to use a Windows task scheduler because every time the computer reboots, it's going to do its thing. Now you can test this um, by right clicking 
and selecting run. So it's running. Now let me go and get the folder where it's doing it to. It's going to put it in this backup folder because that's why I told it. Now what's today? Today is 4-9. It's 12-19. So there it is right there. So every day at 11 p.m. is going to create this backup file. Okay. Wonderful. Beautiful. Now you have a way to back up your radio DJ. However, if you're not paying attention, you got another problem. And another problem is you're going to have tons of these files. <laughs> okay. Now they're all uh, time stamped. And I think, yeah, date and time stamp. But here's the problem. If you don't pay attention to this, you know, you let six months go by, a year go by. This thing gets large. And I've already showed you this is up to six, 669 megabytes. Well, the little software that I created, when you install it, it's going to create, uh, and by the way, this is on the C drive, okay? And it's, you can install it wherever you wish, but it's on my C drive. And in it, you're going to see this little file here, Radio DJ Backup Cleaner. And you're going to see another folder called DB Backups. Okay. So one of the things you will want to do in Radio DJ is point. After you install this, you want to point this to that folder. So you want to change this backup location. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to go to the C drive because that's where it's at. Into that folder called Radio DJ Backup Cleaner and to this folder called DB backups, because now I want my backups to go here where they'll automatically be cleaned. Okay. So now you see it is now in the installation folder that this program runs in C radio DJ backup cleaner forward slash database backups. Okay. Uh, I have to hit okay for that to happen. All right, so um, let's go into that folder. And as you see, there are tons of them in here. You don't see a 4.9 in here. So let's make sure <clears throat> that this is working properly. I'm going to have to go back to that folder. No, no, no. Let's get the task scheduler. All right, so we're going to do this task scheduler. We're going to do it again now because we changed locations. So it's running. And now we're going to go back over here. And there it is. 4-9. Today's date, 11-22, um, uh, 12-22 in the afternoon. So there's the new file. <clears throat> okay. And like I said, if you don't pay attention to it, this will grow and grow and get bigger and bigger. So I created a piece of software that when you install it, uh, when you run it, it's going to clean this folder out and only keep the last 10. And those 10 are based on days. So since I'm backing up every day, it's going to keep the last 10 days. Now you can run this manually or once again. Okay. So we created a task manager or a task scheduler to handle backing up radio DJ every night to prevent that backup folder from getting full, we're going to now create a task schedule to run the software called the radio DJ backup cleaner that you get from carterscripts.com. So we're going to create a task for that. And we're going to call it radio DJ backup cleaner. Okay. And we're going to check all four at the bottom again. And we're going to select our version of Windows. Our trigger is going to be, you don't have to run this every day. This can run once a week. Let's say we run it on Saturdays. And we'll do 11 p.m. So our trigger is to Clean up the database folder every Saturday at 11 p.m. The action, of course, is to go and get that program. All right, so we're going to go to the C drive. 
we're going to go to radio dj backup cleaner and we're going to select radio dj backup cleaner.exe if you can see your extensions uh there are no arguments and yes we can use the um folder so i'm going to grab from c to the end of the name of the folder and put that down here under start in sometimes it works better if you do that hit okay and okay so now we have a schedule set up to clean up all of these backups that have compiled over the weeks and days so let's test this So there's the radio DJ backup cleaner. We're going to select run and it should clear out everything except for the last 10 days. And you see that just clean them out. Boom. So what will happen is depending on what day you set this thing to run, it will keep this folder nice and clean and tidy for you. It would only keep the past 10 days. Okay. And um you can get this software right here on carterscripts.com and um thank you for your patronage.